Hello, I'm Kashif, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today I'm going to show you how to resolve HTTP 502 errors from API Gateway REST APIs with AWS Lambda proxy integration. Let's get started. If your Lambda function's permissions are incorrect or the response of the API request isn't formatted correctly, then API Gateway returns an HTTP 502 status code. HTTP 502 error messages appear in Amazon CloudWatch logs as you see here. For API Gateway to handle a Lambda function's response, the function must return output in a specific JSON format as you see here. To troubleshoot HTTP 502 error, we can use metrics and Amazon CloudWatch logs. Let's log in to the AWS Management Console, choose API Gateway, and then choose your API. To view metrics and logs, choose Dashboard. For stage, choose the stage that you want. Choose date range to specify a range of dates. I'll choose last one day. Choose apply. Choose refresh if needed. Here you can view individual metrics. If you have an HTTP 502 error, then you'll see an increase in 5xx metrics. By default, CloudWatch logging on new stages is not active. Let's turn it on for our stage and API. We'll use this API ID later when searching for CloudWatch logs. The API ID is included in the CloudWatch log group name. Before checking logs, let's test the REST API method in the API Gateway console. Choose Resources. Choose your method. For this video, I'll choose Get. And then choose Test. Choose Test. The results show you the complete request and response. To view API Gateway logs, choose CloudWatch in the AWS Management Console. Then choose Logs. Choose Log Groups. And then paste the name of the API that you copied earlier into the search bar. Choose this API Log Group. I'll choose the latest log stream. In the logs, review the format of your Lambda function's response to your API. If the response isn't in the required JSON format, then reformat it. Let's examine the Lambda code. In the AWS Management Console, choose Lambda. Choose your function. In my case, it's my Lambda function. Choose code. Review the code and look for is base64 encoded? Note that this value is by default set to false, but you can set it to true if you are using binary data. The body must be converted to a string if you are returning data as JSON. I am using json.dumps to handle this in Python. Note that other runtimes require different solutions, but the concept is the same. We must also make sure that the Lambda function's resource policy allows access to invoke the function with API Gateway. To verify the access, choose Configurations, choose Permissions, and then choose Resource-based Policy Statement. Make sure that the API Gateway principle is allowed to invoke Lambda function and the conditions are correct. The Lambda handler name must be the same as what's configured in the runtime configuration. To verify this, choose close, choose code, verify that the lambda function handler name is the same as what's configured in the runtime settings. If the lambda execution fails during runtime, then check the lambda function logs and update the code. To view Lambda function logs, choose Monitor. Scroll down to the CloudWatch logs section. 
and choose log stream to view the logs in CloudWatch. And now you know how to resolve HTTP 502 errors from API Gateway REST APIs with AWS Lambda proxy integration. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.